Hello viewers, you are welcome to my channel and um, I would want to take you through the repair of this medical equipment called sterilizing machine. This very machine is faulty, so we are going to look at it and uh, find out what the problem is. Although we've been able to test and find out that this very element inside has burnt. So we are going to change it. Oh, so this is the base on the connection. So I am going to replace this very element, this very element in here with this new one. We are going to use this very new one to replace this is 3000 watts by 220 volts so i am going to use it to replace it so basically what i'm going to do is to lose close this very switch the the elements here let me separate the switch terminals this is the switch that is connected to the supply cord so these are the three components of this very uh, machine it's used for sterilizing of um, medical instruments and the rest of them depending on what you want to sterilize so let me lose them out Okay, I'm still losing it. Okay. This is a washer. I'm going to file it. This is a washer. I'm going to clean it. So this is the element in question. So I am going to use this very one to replace it. I'm going to use some pepper to, to make it clean so that the water will not leak. You don't want to leave any particle here. So do the same thing at the bottom here. Okay, you can see how clean and smooth it is now. Okay, then I'm going to clean this as well because there are a lot of particles here. We've been, we've been able to sandpaper the washers very well. What I'm going to do is that I'm going to turn it. Okay. This is the seal, seal here of this element. So just like I have been teaching, you have to be very, very careful when tightening. So. You can see the fitting. The, the fitting is perfect without any adjustment. <clears throat> okay. So what we are going to do here is just to add back these washers. Okay. 
Yeah. You tie it with caution. So I've been able to achieve this. So let's look at it. You can see the fitting well fitted in here. So the next thing we're going to do is to do the connection. This is a supply cord and the switch cord here. One of the switch will go to the elements. Then one of the supply we as well take the second leg of the elements. So what I'm trying to do is to put the wire in between the washers so as to have a firm grip. It's very important. Yes. Okay, now I have been able to uh, complete the connection, but this wire will not lie so like this. So what I'm going to do is to use what we call belt clip and tidy up here. Yes. This is firmly fitted. Here we go. <clears throat> so we've been able to complete the replacement and repair. So what we are going to do right now is to test and see if there will be resistance or not. Okay, so this is is on off uh, on off. Let me put it off. Is on off position right now. Zero is off, so I'm not expecting any reading. Then one is on, so we should expect reading from the meter. Can you see it? This is off. You can't get any reading. And this is on. So what we are going to test again after you must have finished the repair. You test for earth leakage. This is very important. So let me test for earth leakage. I'm going to test the two terminals of that's the positive and negative to the body of this. You can see it's not reading. It's not reading. So uh, you've been able to see how we are able to replace or change the bond element of this sterilizing machine. So it's now good for use. Maybe let me add some water and then um, show you a little experiment. Okay, I've been able to add some water. So let's plug it. <coughs> 
Okay, let's just give it uh, one, two minutes, one minute. Yeah, spoiling. Come closer so that they will see it. Wow, this is very fast. So you've been able to see how to repair or replace a burnt heating element of a sterilizing machine. It's so easy. Um, I don't think there is any big deal in doing all these things. And uh, keep watching, subscribe to my videos. More videos will be coming your way. Thank you for watching. That would be all for today.